But I think that fear itself is a tremendously powerful lever. And when I say a lever, I mean a chemical lever. This dopamine epinephrine relationship, the fact that dopamine, this molecule of craving and epinephrine, this molecule of motivation and agitation, this kind of like stress, the fact that those are such close cousins is never going to be untangled. And so the, the doing a lot of psychological work to try and just move towards things from a place of love and desire, I think is, is a terrible mistake. I think that will, that eventually comes and it, and it's wonderful to have those aspects to one's life. But I think we should all um, be in more appreciation for the fact that we are wired to be motivated when afraid and, and that we can leverage that. I'm not talking about living in fear all the time, but I think that we can leverage that. It's what can get us out the door. It's what can move us through a tr you know tremendously difficult times. So I guess I'm not out to, um, to turn fear into something it's not. It doesn't feel good to turn stress and agitation into something it's not. You know, it, it, it's called stress and agitation for a reason. But I don't think that it's poison. I think it's the way I like to think about it. Again, I'm calling it a lever because, you know, a lever, you can really move things forward. And then once things are going forward, it's a whole different business.